do you know what is asset shutdown? Recently, one uh, interview question was there for one of our candidate that uh, what is asset shutdown? And they have put one particular question related to this asset shutdown, and they have put one uh, scenario related to this asset. It's a very easy concept, but a little bit tricky. Hi, my name is Pradeep Fota, and you are started watching my interview series. Now, to understand this one in better way, let's move into the PPT and uh, let's try to understand what is asset shutdown. Exactly, I have noted this uh, same question what was asked there. The question was this I want to calculate the depreciation, particularly uh, in some scenarios, this in mines and all this is applicable. So, the question was I want to calculate the depreciation from april till october april assume that it is april to march reporting so depreciation will be calculated from april till october then after that no depreciation will be calculated again next year the depreciation will calculate from the april so here we are assuming that april depreciation is calculated from you can see this ppt so here you can see depreciation is calculated i have created one scenario and here you can see uh, here depreciation is calculated for period 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Depreciation is calculated from April to October. Then after that, from next period onwards, you can see from 7th period onwards, there is no depreciation. Normally, when you are going to execute the depreciation FAV, so there we don't have any option that for this particular asset depreciation will not be calculated or for this asset depreciation will be calculated. So as a user, you are going to run the depreciation fully. But how system is going to calculate? Let's say you have 10 assets are there. On 9 assets, depreciation will be calculated as per normal process. But particularly on this asset, depreciation will be calculated till October or till 6th period. So 7th period onwards, there will be no depreciation. So this is the concept of asset shutdown. So there are different ways are there where we can uh, go for this option. So this uh, uh, asset shutdown process, how we can use it. So one option is that you can apply this uh, particular one in our transaction code AFMA. That is your when you are maintaining the depreciation key. So if you go to the depreciation key towards the end, you will find that there is one option is there shutdown process. So there also you will find that you can maintain there no. Okay, so I will show you that this is one one option. So in the depreciation key, we can maintain that asset shutdown. If it is active, then you can make it a yes, otherwise keep it no. So if it is no, that means we can calculate the depreciation for that particular asset. If it is yes, that means asset shutdown. This is one option. But again, it is at depreciation key level. So anywhere you are going to add that depreciation key, so uh, that will be applicable. That means let's say, uh, this depreciation key is applied on four different assets. So on all four depreciation assets, if it is activated or shutdown process is activated, then asset will depreciation will not be calculated. So are you getting my point? So if you are going to activate at depreciation key level, then on four assets, the shutdown process will be applicable. So normally we don't do this one. But as per this particular question, it is applicable on particular assets. For example, certain machines you are using in the mines and it's a group of machines are there. So all these four machines, we are going to follow this method. So in that case, you can maintain this one in depreciation key. So individual assets level maintenance not required. But let's say one particular asset, we need to follow this process. So in that case, instead of depreciation key, we should go for uh, asset master. So in asset master also, we have the shutdown process is there. Okay, so that also we can check here and uh, we uh, then we can understand so two options are there so in both options we can use either on asset master or on depression key so let's see this sap screen and if we we'll go to the fma is our depreciation key let's take one chart of depreciation okay and uh, suppose this is one depreciation key we are using this one right you can see this one asset shut down this option so whether it will be yes or no so if it is no that means asset is active depression will be calculated if it is yes that means asset shut down is activated so this is where we are going to update in depression key but again you have to keep in mind if it is updated in depreciation key and if this same depreciation key is applicable on uh, multiple assets, then same rule will be applicable. 
on the, all these assets. So normally we don't use this one, provided that if same rule is applicable on multiple assets. Other option, we can go to asset master. Mostly we are using this one. So let's take one asset. Just randomly, I'm going to pick one asset from this list. Let's take the first one. So if you go to the time dependent, here you can see assets are down option is there or not. So right now I'm in display mode. So that's why it's there. So if you, you can activate this one, assets are down. Okay, you can also for a particular period, let's say from April to October depression will be calculated. Then after that, once again, it will be activated. So you can use this more interval option. Okay, so now it is active. That means from this period, you can uh, let's go to S02. Okay, so here you can activate assets are down or you can click on more intervals. Now I need to add more intervals. So that means once it is shut down, that means for sixth period. So as per this PPT, you can see here, up to six depreciation is calculated. Then from seventh period onwards, we can activate asset shutdown option. But again, next year or after three months, four months, once again, we will start calculating the depreciation. So click on add intervals. From which date you want to add the new intervals? So let's say this one will be uh, asset will be calculated or we are going to calculate the depreciation from 1st April. Okay, now you can see here. So from 1st April onwards, depreciation will be calculated. So uh, in this way, we can that uh, we can continue with the depreciation with this so, again. So again, whenever it is required, we can once again, we can activate the asset set down process. So this is a very simple, very small point, but in interview, just keep in mind so that how we can on same asset for a particular period, we can calculate the depreciation or we can set down the depreciation. Okay, that means for all assets, depreciation will be calculated, but for this particular asset, for a couple of months, couple of periods, it will depreciation will not be calculated. So definitely try this scenario, any issue, anything, update me in the comment section. So I hope you like this video. So if you're getting good, uh, some clarity on this one, you need some more clarity on this one, please update me in the comment section. I will try to uh, prepare any, uh, I will try to reply on that. Or if you have any specific questions, anything you can update in the comments. I will try to prepare one video on this. Thank you very much.